Hello students, this is your course on content marketing. In this video on measuring content marketing performance, we are going to talk about downloads. So let's begin by understanding why it is important to measure downloads and what kind of content performance does this metric or does this KPI actually indicate for a content marketer. Downloadable con content re resources are offered by content marketers as lead magnets mostly and as rewards for engaged and loyal customers or as tools for enhancing brand image and recall at a later time as well while improving bounce rate of the website. Simply put, downloadable resources are ever offered in a website just to encourage customers, either potential customers to share their email ID, existing customers to keep coming back for finding such resources and therefore remaining engaged with the website, engaged with the content and engaged with the brand. And then downloadable resources are something of a uh, memorabilia which can be referred back to by customers who find value in it and, and therefore every time they read it every time they hear it or consume it in any other way possible they will remember the brand in a positive way and that is why they are a, an important kind of content to keep on your website especially if you want to design a holistic content uh, marketing campaign now what happens uh, in addition to all this is that if you have uh, the event or if, if you have the action organized on a particular landing page for a customer to access a downloadable uh, resource by clicking on a link, by clicking on an icon, that gets captured as an additional action on that particular page. And this means that for from Google Analytics point of view, that would be captured as a, a successful visit and not as a bounce, even if the customer is leaving from the very first page that they visited on the website. So it, it has that kind of positive effect on your metrics also, which are getting measured and uh, thus makes sense to offer limited information on the landing page and then encourage customers to download the full content by clicking on a link or a button or a icon. Measuring downloads of such resources also indicate the level of engagement of site visitors and help in understanding the perceived value of such resources for future content planning. So you, you can also host multiple such resources on your website in different pages and then track how each resource is performing. So let's say you come up with three new ebooks in a given uh, content calendar year and you realize that out of those three ebooks, one is particularly performing very well, two others are performing on an average side. The topic, the scope of this ebook which is performing well tells you the interest areas of your site traffic and it tells you the kind of content that you should be focusing on in the next period of content planning because that is what customers would want to consume and would keep coming back for. Of course, it's possible that the uh, timely nature of that content or maybe it's a trending topic and that's why it clicked so much. So you have to uh, keep the subjective assessment in mind as well. But yes, downloadable sources very much like the pages most viewed on your website give you a very good understanding of the psyche, the behavior and the interest and preferences of your target customers and uh, can be considered as a a good way to understand what kind of content works for you and what doesn't. You can use uh, Google Analytics to measure the number of downloads happening on your website. However, it doesn't really track downloads uh, per se as an activity. It tracks events as an activity. So within your Google uh, Analytics dashboard, you can go to the behavior category tab and within that you can select events. And for events, you can select uh, uh, downloads for the events to be measured. So every time a customer click on a download button or a link that cap gets captured as an event and that gets measured in your Google Analytics dashboard. And of course, it, it is something that you can measure across different uh, download properties, across uh, different uh, topic categories and you can also compare from time to time and from various campaigns if you are bringing 
साइड ट्रैफिक ऑन बोर्ड टू पर्टिकुलरली एक्सेस अ पर्टिकुलर टाइप ऑफ डाउनलोड देन यू कैन मेजर द इफेक्टिवनेस ऑफ द कैंपेन ऑल्सो दैट सो मेनी पीपल गॉट अट्रैक्टेड बाय द प्रमोशनल कॉन्टेंट क्लिक डॉन एट सो पॉजिटिव सी टी आर हैपन वेन दे लैंडेड ऑन द पेज डिड दे एक्चुअली सब्सक्राइब टू डाउनलोड or did they actually register to download you can measure uh, a mix of these kind of matrix to understand how effective a particular campaign is so it uh, a download is not just telling you how good the downloadable content is it's also telling you how effective your promotional efforts are for bringing your customer to that download content as well and then on that page how effective is your communication as you can see here uh, this is a typical dashboard uh, which can be generated once you have downloads happening and you can see what type of uh, document is getting downloaded so you uh, can measure the event label which could be the name of the do downloadable document and the number of users who uh, actually downloaded it so this is a very early version of the uh, dashboard therefore there are only one download per user there can be users who can browse the website for multiple uh, resources and download uh, multiple uh, such products and therefore can trigger multiple events on your website and that can get captured in your google analytics dashboard as well so you need to know how to uh, read it and how to put it to Uh, effective use for further content planning so that's about using downloads as a performance measurement metric next up we'll talk about time per session thank you